Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your 13th Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on component events. Okay, so uh, what I mean by component events is essentially um, these are events which are fired off by um, your Svelte components themselves. Okay, so in order to demonstrate this, we're going to need a nested component inside the project here. So let's make a new component right here called nested.svelte. And this one right here is going to contain two buttons. Um, upon pressing the first button, it is going to increase a number. And pressing the second button is going to fire an event off the component itself. So let's first make a new script right here. And we're going to uh, declare a variable called n equal to 0 by default. And then down here, we can create the first button. Now this button is going to contain uh, the current value of n. So something like this uh, within brackets, then we can just say something like um, increase. Okay, so when you press on this button, I want the n to be increased by one. So you know what? Actually, let's let's call this increment. It's probably more appropriate. Okay, and um, we can say on click right here. We're going to run this function. We are going to be like I said. We're going to be simply just saying n. Uh, equals n plus 1. You know what, let's actually just do n plus equals 1 as that would be um, a lot uh, a lot simpler. So um, that's done. We can now quite simply go down here and we can say button and this one's just going to say done. So now pressing save here and going inside the browser, we can see that um, we haven't got any results because we need to of course um, actually include the nested component inside the app. So let's include or bring in the uh, the nested, so we can say import nested from uh, nested.svelte, just like that. Then we can just quite simply just do this and uh, right there, render out the nested component. So now let's save this, go inside the browser, we can see we get that right there. Now upon pressing increment, we can see it is going up like that. So. When I press the done button, I want to fire an event off the component itself and then handle it inside the app. So essentially, we're going to be sending information up um, from the nested into the parent. And this right here is probably uh, the most preferred way in many cases to pass data between your child and your parent components. Okay, so let's go inside nested right here and we're going to bring in create event dispatcher. So we can uh, go up here and we can say import. We're going to be importing create event dispatcher from Svelte, just like that. And now we can create a new variable or new constant. So you can say const dispatch is equal to creates event dispatcher just like this. So now we have all of this stuff working um, in order um, in order to fire off an event up towards our app.svelte, we need to take advantage of, of um, sorry, of dispatch right here. Okay, so um, let's go down here. We can say on, click, then we can say when you click on this done button, we're gonna say handle done right there. And then up here, we can declare the function called handle done. And uh, this right here is going to simply make use of the dispatch. So it looks like this. We're going to say dispatch, and then we're going to specify the name of the event. So in this case, we want to send an event up to the main app. We're going to call this event done. Okay, so. We're going to say done right here and then we can send through data with that event. So we can say right here an object and we can just say um, current number and then pass through here n. So now upon pressing on handle done it is going to fire off or dispatch this event right here done up to the parent and then the parents can handle it. So let's go inside the parent right here and to handle this event. It's quite straightforward. We're going to simply say on, then we can watch out for the done event right there. So now we can just say, you know, once uh, once the event, uh, you know, fires off, we can quite simply just uh, console.log 
and we can log out the value of the event object right there. So now saving this and going inside the browser, we can increment the, um, the number a few times then. Upon pressing done, we can see right here in the console, we get the custom event fired off from um, the child right there. So you can see here we have um, the detail right here containing our current number. Now, of course, you can go inside here. You can just simply access that number by saying e dot detail dot current number and that of course is going to give you access to that uh, that current number right there so now saving this and going once again in the browser we can see upon doing so we of course now get the actual number now of course uh, one last thing to mention is that you don't need to um, uh, specify data so I can just simply specify um, this right here and that's perfectly fine um, in in many cases this is probably okay um, it just depends on the scenario but in that case right there it just means that um, your detail is going to be empty so I'll just log this out once again we can save this and go back up here and we can see of course um, you know your detail is now simply null so that right there is component events in Svelte thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one